Welcome to another episode of Weekly Spark. Um, I'm filming this on Friday, September 9th. <clears throat> and so that uh, just I wanted to mention because it is the day after Queen Elizabeth has passed. So that's been in the news quite a lot. And that's actually something that is going to be the theme of uh, my page this week, probably next week, because if I'm sitting down to film, I may do two pages. Um, whether or not you think the monarchy is a great idea, whether or not you're a royalist, whether or not you've ever even visited the UK. Um, 70 years, man, that's a long time to rule. Think of the changes that have occurred in history and in culture during the time of her reign. So in looking at this, this powerful woman, and that's debate for another day, whether the monarch has any power or not, um, but in looking at this strong woman and her role in the course of history. So in homage to that aspect of Elizabeth, I'm going to turn the camera around and work on some pages. So I gathered up some things first off. Um, I went through my stamps and I found quite a few stamps of her father, early stamps, King George, I believe, and Literally, I have dozens of stamps of Queen Elizabeth, many of them young Elizabeth, some the classic profile in um, a low relief, and others actually portraits, this one from Scotland, this one from Canada with a photograph of a more middle-aged queen. Yeah, so, so many colors, Hong Kong, different places from the Commonwealth. Um, this one's a little bit different as well from Australia. So definitely going to be using some stamps as an element. What I have here on the page already, not glued down, but um, an old dictionary page from Q with Queen on it and a portrait from her coronation that I found online. So that's kind of where I'm going to start. Um, I think I'm going to pull in some wine and maroon, kind of rich and regal. And then probably some tans and some old paper to play off some of the um, backgrounds of the stamps. I have a scrap of lace, a piece of old sheet music. So I'm not really sure where we're going. This piece of antique paper from a book is the conclusion of the book, so that does seem somewhat appropriate. I had a big wrinkle in that, so I'm just trying to <clears throat> peel it up before it got too dry and too stuck, and just trying to smooth that out. Um, if it becomes too bad, I can always print another one because that was just printed on my laser printer. You may have seen in a recent video that I did finish up a sketchbook in this kind of 5x7, 5x8 size. So <clears throat> this one's brand new. So the pages don't really lie flat yet, so I'm just trying to keep things clipped. 
I pulled out that music, but I don't know if I like that. I think I want more color, and I might want something kind of diagonal across the center of the page. <clears throat> One thing I do want to do I'll do more to that, but right now it's pretty sticky. Putting that across the whole half of the spread is going to be too much, but I could see part on either side. Kind of like that. And then maybe, I don't know, I like this wine showing behind it. So <clears throat> rubbing too hard on that antique paper did cause it to tear. But it's pretty easy to kind of fold and tear off when it's wet like that. Kind of looking at the overall spread, there's quite a bit of dark here behind her, behind her head, her dark hair, behind her back. So maybe something dark along the top edge would be good. Okay, I'm definitely going to put this piece of lace down here at this end, and I'm just going to do that with matte medium, but I'm going to try and get a good thick layer on the back of the piece. And then using this same, but the clean just press it down. So that might come in over there. Could almost frame the word conclusion, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm not ready to glue that down. So, um, this center area still definitely needs things. Um, and then stamps. Some of the stamps are now all the wrong colors. You know, like putting this one with this bright kind of cadmium orange in is now kind of not. I mean, it sort of relates, but it's so bright, it overpowers. So, the green is not bad. I have a lot of the blue, which are nice. Um, this brown and blue is good. So, it might be the blue that I use more of. Although, this peachy color is nice over here.
So her dress in this picture is reading is kind of a gray, bluish grayish. And so that might be a good color to add like on the dictionary text, right? So that the queen that's been circled stands out more. <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if it's dry enough to go over that with one of these distress crayons because I think that color's pretty right. So this I'm happier with. I'm happy that queen stands out now. I like this watercolor paper torn. I have some found text that I might add on the very bottom. Um, and I like this kind of peachy color over here. I want to see if the lace works upside down. It would hang out of the book a little bit, but I kind of like that better. I want to try this stamp. Now I've got stencils. It's like a gothic window arch. Hang on. I know you can't see right now, but I'll show you in one sec. I like that. Let me try it on clear paper, maybe on the music. Maybe on just clear paper. Oh, I like that. I also have a stencil that has kind of this quatrefoil, so I may have to get that out and bring that in. That's better. Let's glue all these things down and then let's stencil in the very center. Because I, I mean, I could rearrange things and tweak this for hours, but I'm happy with how things are going. So I have this one that has the border. So that would match that really well. This one is very similar, but it's a bit more angular. It's a bit more pointy. I think I do want to do it in a larger area than just the border. But I can repeat this. Yeah, I almost feel like I did too much of it. So now it doesn't quite solve the problem. It needs something else still. There's something about little lines of text that are just easier to do with a glue stick. It's per it, it, I want to work it in because it has the same color font as this kind of maroon paper, and it might be a good vehicle to break this up. Just not sure. I think that'll do it.
I'm going to let that one dry because it's pretty gummy. Yeah, that's a great stamp that I look forward to working with some more. And that was nice. It was giving me a reference to like Westminster Abbey and St. Paul's. And here this was her coronation picture, which would have been Westminster Abbey. So that was kind of a, a link for me that made sense. I think I'm going to call this one done. And I have another picture that I want to use. So I will save that for my next page, in which case I'll share that with you next week. But as always, do the YouTube things and like and subscribe. And I would love to hear your comments. But um, otherwise, have an excellent week. And I'll see you next time on Weekly Spark.